Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Creepy Steel Readings. You know, as bad as terrible video gaming experiences are, nothing will ever compare to the anti-majesty that is Lost Episodes. People really love these Lost Episodes stories because there are a crap ton of these stories online and they don't seem to ever be going away. For whatever reason, most of these stories will involve Lost Episodes of cartoons, because I guess terror juxtaposed against childhood stuff is just that terrifying. Regardless, this is the perfect genre for me. And today's story is one such story in one such genre. Because we're going to delve into the terrifying world of Spongebob Squarepants. The most terrifying of cartoons. I mean, look at those recent episodes. <laughs> They're freaking insane. And not really my taste compared to the old episodes. But regardless, terrifying. And this story will expose the terrors of Spongebob and the people making it. Because today on Creepy Steel Readings, I will tell you the mortifying tale of Goodbye Gary, a Spongebob Squarepants Lost episode. Because screw you, Gary. And of course, if you are the writer of the story, don't be discouraged by me reading your story. We thank you all for giving us a story that we all can enjoy, and we hope you can continue your writing efforts and improve to become the best you can be. Keep writing, y'all. And now, the story. Goodbye, Gary, a SpongeBob SquarePants Lost episode. I think there should be a colon in there, but whatever. Introduction. Have you ever wondered what happens if the creators of Spongebob Squarepants got rid of Gary the Snail? No, not really, but please do tell me anyway. The creators made a test episode called Goodbye Gary, an episode not supposed to be released to the public. Why would they make this? Maybe, I, I guess they're going to make it for testing animation? I don't know. My dad works at Nickelodeon Studios because of course he does, and mainly worked on Spongebob and The Loud House, but he sometimes worked on other shows. Goodbye Gary was darker than the usual Spongebob standards. Since my dad worked at Nick Studios, he would sometimes bring home DVDs of the newer episodes and some that were test episodes so he could edit them to see if there were any errors in the episode or to change anything that seemed wrong. When he got home, he put a DVD on the kitchen counter and told me that he was running out for a while. Hmm? He never mentioned the DVD, mostly because it looked like he was in a hurry. After he left, I grabbed the DVD off the counter, put it in my DVD player, and sat on my chair in my room to watch the episode. I was not ready. For what I was about to watch. The episode. The episode started out with a title card of a pet bull with the name Gary and above it read goodbye which read out goodbye Gary and in the story we have a picture of this title card. I'm it, it I'm just going to say they probably would replace it this is just for testing. Okay. Sad violin music was playing in the background. Beginning credits, in quotes, rolled normally, and then it went to a shot of a pet hospital. The camera zooms in on the hospital and goes to a shot of Spongebob sitting in what looked like some kind of waiting room. He had bags under his eyes and looked, looks, sorry, looks nervous. It looks like we are switching between the past and present tenses. The episode went into a flashback scene and showed Spongebob watching TV in his living room. A loud noise was heard from the kitchen. He got up and walked into the kitchen. He gasped and ran to the source of the noise. It was Gary, foam coming from his mouth. He was having a seizure. Whoa. He looked over to where he found Gary and saw the bowl upside down with brown snail food all over the kitchen floor. The last part of the flashback scene was Spongebob running out of his pineapple house, Gary in his arms. 
the camera goes back to the weight room with spongebob still sitting with Max under his with a nervous expression a fish in a doctor's coat came out and walks to spongebob is gary all right doctor spongebob says trying not to stutter yes i know that was not tom kenny that was actually me doing my perfect spongebob impression watch out i'm coming after your job tom the snail food that he congested had rat poison inside of it. What? The snail food that he congested had rat poison inside of it. He had ate too much of it and died. <laughs> I'm sorry, SpongeBob. The doctor says in a. Oh, um, sorry. I should have been depressed because um, the doctor said that in a depressed voice putting a fin on Spongebob's shoulder. Spongebob begins to yell, No! So loud that it almost made me go deaf. While this happened, the camera panned outside of the hospital. The screen faded to black. The screen came back to Spongebob sitting in his house with Sandy and Patrick with a couple of Krabby Patties. But... Something was different about Spongebob. Hmm. His skin was darker like it was fading. Hey Sandy, Patrick began. Don't you think Spongebob looks different? Perfect Patrick impersonation. He- I'm, No, I'm not doing Sandy's voice. He, he lost Gary, Sandy said. Give him some time. Here, Spongebob. She gave Spongebob a Krabby Patty. This'll cheer you up for sure. As Sandy put the Krabby Patty in Spongebob's hand, it switched to Spongebob's perspective and showed the patty in his hand. It slowly morphed into a small Gary. Meow, the Gary in Spongebob's imagination said. It switched out of Spongebob's perspective. Tears started dripping from his eyes and he said, Oh, Gary, I'm so sorry. I wish you didn't get poisoned. As he was saying this, Sandy and Patrick tried to tell him to be quiet, but they failed miserably. Squidward bursted through the door and screamed, Will you cut it out? That I that That's how Squidward sounds. Yes. Wait a minute, hold on a sec. They... Patrick and Sandy tell Spongebob to be quiet? <laughs> that's, that's kind of a mean thing to, to do, don't you think? <laughs> Whatever, um, keep, let's, we'll, we'll, let's continue. Spongebob then went silent. Patrick got up and yelled at Squidward. Do you have any idea what happened? Gary died last week. Spongebob is sad about it, and you come in here to silence him? That was very unlike Patrick's character. Squidward came back at Patrick, yelling at him. Gary died? Why couldn't it be SpongeBob who died? The world will be a lot calmer, and I will be happier than I am now. Or why couldn't it be you who died, Patrick? <laughs> or, wh or why couldn't it be you who died, Patrick? We have enough. <laughs> We have enough R words in the key bottom alone. That line was very dark, especially for Squidward, and I know, right? <laughs> it doesn't even sound completely in character, but whatever. They've never said the R word in the show before. After he said that, SpongeBob got up from his chair. This is where it went downhill fast. Watch out guys, this will be some serious schnitzel crackers. Hold on to your seats. If you don't... No... Horse oh, Okay. If you don't get the hell out of my house right now... <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this. If you don't get the hell out of my house right now, Squidward, I'm going to kill you! SpongeBob's
screamed at Squidward, acting completely serious. Squidward didn't seem scared of him screaming. Oh yeah? What are you going to do? Hit me with your tears? Squidward said, laughing after he said that. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's... <laughs> What the hell is going on? SpongeBob finally got triggered. SpongeBob started running angrily towards Squidward, leaped up into the air, and jumped onto him. He started punching Squidward in the face, clawing at him. Two different actions. Uh, Sandy and Patrick tried to get SpongeBob off of him, but he just kept attacking him pushing it to away when they tried to pull him off. Sandy threw a rolling pin at Spongebob, knocking him off of Squidward. When Spongebob got punched, a realistic punch sound effect played. Uh, okay. Squidward had a bruised nose, scratch marks all over his body, pieces of his shirt torn off, and a black eye. Squidward then yelled, Get away from me, you psychopathic sponge! And ran out of the pineapple house. He ran into his own house and bored the entire building up. After this was over, Spongebob then went, ran upstairs to his room while panting with anger and slammed the door shut. Sandy and Patrick ran upstairs and Sandy told him to open his door. Spongebob then said, No, Sandy, I will stay in my room forever! Ever. Sandy just told Patrick, we should just probably leave. He agreed, and they left. A time card appeared, reading two weeks later. And then it transitioned to Sandy and Squidward in front of Spongebob's house. Squidward's nose was finally healed from the bruising, but he still had some injuries on his body. You yeah, think Spongebob will be okay with me being here, Sandy? Squidward said in a calm voice. Yeah, Squidward, he's probably over it by now. Maybe he's not so worked up like last time, Sandy said. Grant, I think Squidward insulting Spongebob over Gary's death probably had something to do with him being worked up, but, you know, it's not really Squidward's fault here. You know, Spongebob was just worked up for some reason. But he hasn't been to work in three weeks. I'm not sure about this, Sandy, he said. Sandy knocked on the door, but it slowly creaked open. The living room was dark, with the only lights being the static of the television screen. SpongeBob? Squidward yelled. No response. Hey, SquarePants, you still here? Sandy yelled. Still no response. He's probably still asleep, said Squidward. At 3.30 p.m. on a Tuesday, Sandy asked. They decided to go upstairs to see if he was in his room. Hey, SquarePants, are you in here? Sandy said. Once again, no response. Squidward knocked on the door. No response. Open the door, Squidward, Sandy said. Squidward did as she said. When he opened the door, he gasped and froze. What is it, Squidward? Sandy said, very confused. Squidward started stuttering, but finally got the word out. SpongeBob! Sandy looked into the room and screamed, Oh my god, Spongebob! The camera panned to a shot of Spongebob lying dead on his bed with a butcher knife in his forehead? Butcher knife in his forehead. He was bleeding. Oh, he was bleeding. Hyper, hyper realistic blood from where he got stabbed in. That was the final shot of the episode as the credits rolled. I was in shock. I didn't know what to think. Was this supposed to be an actual episode? I had no idea what to say. I took the DVD out of the player and put it back where it was before. My dad never found out that I watched the DVD. I believe that Spongebob episode is an alternative version of the current running episode, Gary Come Home. Um, it's kind of a very old episode if you're mentioning Loud House, but okay. And that was Goodbye Gary, a Spongebob Squarepants lost episode. You know, this is why I come to Creepypastas. That random violence, 
those bad grammar mistakes, misspellings. Actually, there wasn't a lot of misspellings in this episode. I don't think there were any misspellings. Just some wrong words. But, I'm telling you, this, this is why I live for with creepypastas. It's beautiful. It is so wrong. It is so bad. And it's beautiful. But, that's all I to say about this. This is K-Steel Creepy Steel Ring signing out. I'll see you all later. This was a Cobalt Steel video by MS Bernie. Like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw. Until next time, see you all later.